So I spent way too much time reworking the gates. Uh, the main reason is trying to get it to walk straight without like tipping backwards, causing like negative acceleration. Eventually, I just used uh, Regis Sue's uh, spider robot gate. Like I watched his robot walk, and then I programmed mine to do the same. You can see here that it starts out parallel with this tape measure, which is like the straight line reference. And as the robot moves forward, it slowly turns left. The turning is something that I also uh, borrowed, quote unquote, from uh, Regis's spider robot, because mine were just bad. Uh, it's easier to turn a hexapod than a quad. So after I watched his video in slow motion for a bit, I figured out how it works. And I did not make it rotate a, at a clean angle, like 45 exact. You could do that. Um, but this one, it rotates at 52 degrees. You also see it carrying this weight around. It's a random bolt. That's because the, it has a tendency to tip backwards to the back right corner. So now we're at the, uh, the scanning phase, and um, what it does is it tilts up uh, two samples or angles, and also tilts two down, and the, uh, the sweep or panning is uh, 20 degrees uh, in either direction. Thus you can see like it needs work. Like you should see a 90 degree straight wall up and down. But uh, the sensor, if you look at that bolt where the yellow words are, uh, it's like two and a half inches from that bolt is where the sensor faces. And when the robot tilts up and down, it's swinging that sensor plate around. So it's like a, like a sphere moving. And I don't have that factored out of the samples here. This is a open space scan where there's like nothing in front of the robot. And uh, it's like a really nice arc, but there's still problems. The, the lines at the bottom where it's like make, makes a triangle. It should be like a nice plane. My God, every time I like record something, I'm tired as hell. The, I got the uh, motion stuff going. The problem is the IMU values are not good. I didn't calibrate them and the sensor is junk. You know, when you buy them, like 50% of them fail. So, uh, anyway, what, what you're seeing here is actually uh, externally validated motions, assuming there's no slippage. So, you say go forward, it goes forward, and every gate it completes, it moves two inches forward. So every time the line updates, it's two inches. And then when it turns, it does the cosine sign to find the you know, x, y values, and it updates that. And then you'll see it turn on the map. I did not reach the uh, goals of this project that I had in mind. But I've dropped like three months into this project. And I have to like move on. I have other things to do. But uh, I'll still like hack on on the side, but the whole thing is just like invalidated because of how inaccurate things are. There's like too many sources of error. I can't guarantee where it is. The servos can burn out because there's no feedback, you know. So it's a little smarter, but it's still a dumb robot, and that's what I was trying not to do. So regarding navigation, you can see here. Uh, the robot would start at the blue tape. The robot's a 10 inch cube, so, you know, if it goes 10 forward, there's like eight inches in front, but it would have performed a scan and it would have detected that thing in front, possibly, because the there's five slices and you have to figure out how often you scan in order to not run into things. And the feet have a, <clears throat> just under an inch is the lowest clearance on one of the feet. So that's like, I have to work that out. And you can see here on the left side, if I was to turn left, uh, in the past, I thought the uh, turn left 
degree. It was 37 and a half, but it's actually 52. So you would turn and, you know, see if you can fit in that area, but then you would say, oh, it's not worth it because there's that thing to the top left, not the can, but the bottle or the box above it. So it's like you would avoid that area, but is it accurate enough to do that is the thing. So it says here your family's been uh, in the battery transportation business for four decades, four generations. Is that right? You see, back in those days, uh, it was a, it was a wild west. You had double A's, triple A's, NICADs. There was a lot of work to go around. I brought my family to start something new. Here we are.